a very, always since its inception, been a very customer-centric uh, company. As a customer-led organisation, Pick and Pay are always striving to better the consumer experience. So not only do they stock the best products at the best prices around the country, but they really wanted to get an understanding of how consumers experience their brand and experience their store environment. It's difficult these days because you do have uh, millions of customers. I mean, we have 10 million smart shoppers. They all shop our stores in different ways. So Pick and Pay have taken a fresh approach to their store design and layout, and they're rolling out a number of new stores around the country. It's really around opening up the store, opening sight lines, making fresh the hero, making it easier for customers to get in the store, making it easier for them to get out the store. It was an ideal candidate for this neuromarketing approach because there are different ways in which we're trying to attract our customers' attention, and we have tried to remove a number of customer pain points from the customer journey. Through the use of eye tracking technologies, we were able to look through the eyes of the pick and pay customers and really get an understanding of what grabs their visual attention and how they navigate the space. I was really attracted to the ability to really shop vicariously through shoppers, to go around the store with them, to understand their pain points, to understand where their attention is drawn. Respondents were recruited randomly as they entered the store and they were just asked to wear our glasses and just kind of navigate the store environment as they would any other. We also kept track of what they spend so we could compare that against the behavioural observations that we all observed from the eye tracking data. So behavioural observations, we have a couple of people doing an analysis of the more frequent behaviours that we see people repeat doing, behaviours that may be of interest to us that tell us something about uh, an individual's intention, individual's likelihood of purchasing something as well. Pick and Pay also wanted to develop an understanding of how people navigate certain product categories and what influences those purchasing decisions. So do they look at the brand first? Do they look at product quality? What role does price play? And then obviously we have promotion. So how effective are their promotional messaging? We found that purchase intention or decisions to acquire a product, take a product off the shelf was driven largely by promotions. A really interesting finding as well is that too much of a particular product, too much choice, created a lot of indecision and actually slowed them down. From this research, we're hoping that Pick and Pay will learn from the process, continue to improve their stores, both in terms of how they navigate it, as well as how products are stocked on shelves and how we can really optimize the consumer journey so that consumers have a much better install experience, beat their shop in a quicker time, and ultimately drive higher sales for the Pick and Pay brand. We haven't cracked this. I think I, I'm really interested in exploring neuromarketing and, and this approach to, to eye tracking to all the other various aspects that come with it and how we can really affect the business decisions of, of Pick and Pay.